Yo, what's up guys, Coming Vapor here, and welcome back to the video. So today, I'm just going to be explaining how to get a jump on other players in Project Slayers when it first releases. So, there actually was a Trello that was released. If you don't know what Trello is, it's basically a website where you can put a ton of information on something and, you know, group other people together. So there was a Trello released, and I will actually show you where to find it. So you can go to my Discord, it will be linked in the description below. You're going to want to click this Trello link right here, and it will open up this Trello with literally everything on the game and i'm just going to quickly go over all the important parts that you need to you know get a jump on other players in the game so right here we have a ton of columns we have the quests we have locations items weapons trainers breath demon arts race equipment cosmetics bosses drops clans game passes game, mechan game mechanics and credits also the unreleased type of um you know things you can get in the game so right now you're going to want to just review all of the locations as you can see here find out where everything is you're going to want to look at over the the trainers and the types of breaths that you have so we have a ton of breathing styles water breathing thunder breathing insect breathing and wind breathing now insect breathing is the, the best i'm just going to explain that to you real fast insect breathing is the best out of all of them so far you're going to want to quickly review the items as well because there are a lot of items mainly look over the gourds what they do the the map what that does and if you want to you can look at the ores next we're going to go to the npc quests so you're just going to want to quickly review all of these because um there are there are a lot of um there's a lot of npcs in the game off, off of release at least so all of them get do different things mainly just take a look at somi and where is he horse guy and then look at grow muzan and i can't find him right now but i, I will i will put the name on the screen so Next, you're going to want to look over the weapons. So the weapons are pretty self-explanatory. You have to use the claws are restricted to demon slayers. I mean demons, sorry. And the katanas are all restricted to, you know, what kind of breathing you're using. And the, and the trainers, depending on where what kind of style of, you know, uh, demon slaying you want to do, what breathing you want to do, you're going to have to go to the respective trainer. And if you click on any of these, it will show you where they are. So the insect like trainer is located in the butterfly mansion. Now you're going to want to look at the race. So all of these races are, you know, pretty self-explanatory. You can look over these. They have pretty good information on all of them. Next, you can look at the bosses. So when you're mainly leveling up, you're going to want to go from 1 to 12. So you're just going to want to do Bandit Zoku. That's the first boss you're going to be doing. You're going to be going from 1 to 12 with them. And then you can do the other bosses. There's a ton of bosses off of release, which is surprising because usually games don't do that. So, And next... The last thing you're going to really want to look over is the clans. So there are a ton of clans in the game, which is surprising because uh, there's at least there's at least 10, 10 plus clans in the game already. So obviously it's going to be very hard to get Supreme. It's going to be hard to get Mythic and it's going to be decently hard to get Legendary clans. The other, th the other two, you know, are just normal. So, but if you want to get a specific clan, you can look over the information on them. So just click on the guy and you will see the information on them. Now, you can look over the game passes. Obviously, game passes are, you don't have to get them. They're not technically in the game unless you buy them. So, but you can look those over. And also, one thing that you're going to want to look over in the game mechanics is the, the types of mouse combos. So, it's not just 5M1s. There's different combos such as L, L, R, L, R, which is left mouse, left mouse, right mouse, left mouse, and right mouse. Just look that over real quick. And look over the mastery. I looked this over it was pretty pretty good to look over and also you're going to want to over, look over the combo dodging so combo dodging is a new th type of you know thing i've seen in project slayers so it's respective to project slayers itself and it, it, it's pretty interesting so and then there's also perfect dodging to go with it and it makes a little cool cutscene as you can see right here but if you like word a perfect dodge you would do a little cutscene and get a 3m1 combo yep that's all i have for you guys if you guys enjoyed this video Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to be streaming the update, so if you guys want that, just make sure to tune in. And I'm sure you'll find some information on the game that you need. Well, that's all I have for you guys. I'll see you guys later.